Hello and welcome. So in this video, we'll uh, continue with our discussion of um, cell referencing, um, you know, absolute and relative cell referencing in Excel with um, a, a small shortcut. I just want to show you on how you can do this cell referencing. So just to set the context, here's a small problem. So you have basically these metal cylinder blocks. They're made of steel, iron or copper. And there is a cost per cubic inch for each of these different types of uh, metal cylinder blocks. And you want to find the total cost of these cylinder blocks where the diameter of the cylinder block each cylinder block is uh, 10 inches and the height is 5 inches so when that is the case uh, this is a formula that governs the total volume and you want to multiply the volume uh, times the cost per cubic inch so the volume is basically um, pi times uh, r square radius uh, raised to the power 2 radius squared times uh, the height so I'm going to type in the formula here so I'm going to just type in pi and put a parenthesis so that will give you the uh, the pi constant 3.14 etc um, times now the next thing I want to do is I want to take my diameter divide by 2 and raise it to the power of 2 so that is squared and then times I want to also do then uh, you know multiply the height so now that I've done this, um, the next thing I want to do is I want to be able to copy this formula to the next few cells. And to do that, I need to uh, introduce absolute cell referencing uh, for F4. So what I can do is I can obviously come here and just type $F$4. Or another shortcut is, um, you know, this is particularly handy if you have uh, you know huge formulas and so on what you can do is you can take your cursor make sure it is inside the formula and uh, You can press the f4 button. Okay um, Sorry, the f4 button is the function button right on the top of your keyboard If you're having a Windows machine or if you're having a Mac machine, you can press uh, command T So I have a Mac so I'm going to press command T. So when I do that uh, it uh, kind of circles between the various possibilities. So it's if I press it, if I press Command T or F4 in the case of Windows. If I press it once, I'll see $F$4. If I press it again, I'll see F$4. If I press it again, I'll see $F4. If I press it a fourth time, all the dollars are gone. And once again, if I press uh, con um, you know Command T or in the case of Windows F4. I'm going to press I'm going to see dollar F dollar four which is what I want so I leave it there and then I take it to F5 and I do the same thing there and so with uh, the press of uh, you know keyboard shortcut you can see that the dollar sign has been uh, inserted there this is a lot easier and less error prone than you know going going into the formula and typing particular numbers so having done that I'm going to hit enter and uh, now I'm just going to copy the formula all the way down um oh i'm sorry um and then of course uh i need to multiply uh the you know the volume times the cost per cubic inch so i'm going to multiply this uh wait a minute okay so you got all this times this one here and so that is my total cost for each of these metal cylinder blocks and i copy this all the way down so, um, you know, that's how you would do this. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching.